Hi folks, today we're going to be taking a look at Dreadnought, a free-to-play team-based space combat game. And today's video has been kindly sponsored by the publisher Grey Box, so I'm going to be showing you how the game works, what it's all about, and if you'd like to give it a try out, it is free to play, and you can download it from the link in the description and find it on Steam. So, as I said, Dreadnought is a team-based multiplayer game where you get to fly around in massive capital ships in some pretty epic space battles. There's a variety of different game modes, including Conquest and Team Deathmatch, and there's even a PvE mode for those of you who want some co-op team play as well, where you get to engage in 8 versus 8 battles. There's a load of different classes of ships, from sneaky sniper-type ships that rely on stealth, there's support ships that can heal your allies, of course, there's Dreadnoughts, which have big armor, big hit points, and big guns that like to get up nice and close. There's a little bit of something for everyone in there, and no matter what your playstyle, there's something for you to enjoy. And not only are there different ships, you can load them out with different modules and different weapon systems, so once you find the ships that you like to play, well, you can tailor them to fit your style exactly. Do you like the big slow ships, but you don't want to get in too close? Well, you can fit them out with slightly longer range weaponry, for example. So there's a variety of 8 versus 8 player versus player battles. We've got Onslaught mode, Team Deathmatch, and the Conquest one is about controlling points on the map. Not all the battles are in space, by the way. They take place in the atmosphere of planets as well, which is pretty cool. And you've also got a PvE Proving Grounds mode as well, where you can play co-op with friends against the AI. It's a nice way to chill out a bit, but it's also a nice way to learn a new ship that you've got, or perhaps just level it up so it's not entirely stock when you go into battle. And at that point, let's go and check out some gameplay in one of my favourite ships, the Artillery Cruiser. Okay folks, let's go and jump into a battle. I'll just show you my fleet loadout. This is my recruit fleet for tiers 1 and 2. See, I've got various ships, different types, which is great because the fleet is your lineup. And when you start a battle, you can choose any ship from your fleet and you can switch them whenever you need to respawn as well. So you've always got the option of taking something that is going to be valuable to your team depending on what anyone else is using. The other thing that I really like is that when you're actually queuing for a battle, you can choose which of the game modes you want to queue for, or just the, the PvE proving grounds just to level up and just test yourself a bit or learn a ship. Or you can just click any and it puts you in the queue for everything and it gets you into the game that comes along fastest. This is actually a nice cool idea. So we're gonna play Kappa Base, which is a contest one. Objective gain and defend territory from the enemy team. Now the graphics, this is like a staging area, we just load up outside the planet and this is where you can choose the ship and it's pretty cool, you can see what's already on the team, what everyone else is taking and you know what, I'm going to pick one that's just going to be fun, I'm going to play my Tuga in, this is an artillery cruiser, long range, think of it as a sniper, a bit of a glass cannon and we are ready to roll, okay let's pull in. Now the whole point of this ship is kind of to stay at range, not mix it up too close. The kind of strange thing is that a lot of the games are actually in the atmosphere of planets. Oh, cool volcano in the background. Uh, but it's actually very good because you can use all the ca um, canyons and ravines as cover. You can just go up and down and in and out. You can pop up, shoot something, duck back down into cover. It works really well. Okay, everyone zooming off in front. Looks like we're going to go and capture B. Let's get some all power to the engines. Zoom off. Keep up with these guys to the front. Oh, we've got contact. We've got contact. 7K. Let's get uh, let's get some shooting out on there. Oh, he's going down fast. <laughs> That's what you get for zooming in and yoloing in, my friend. Something sighted. Something sighted. Okay, we need some height. Need to get over there. He's trying to sit in cover there. Got oh, got him, ship. got him. There, there, there. Load the gun. 40 seconds for siege mode. Ah, oh, nice final blow. Oh, oh, taking some hits, taking some hits. <laughs> you see what I mean about this thing being a glass cannon? As the damage starts piling in, you don't last so long. That is one cool looking ship that just took me down, actually. Oh, 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 there's his anti-ship lasers kicking off. Okay, let's just respawn. We're going to go for the same ship. You can actually chain ships at this point. Let's go back in. Siege mode. Damn it, into cover. 
Systems depleted, Captain. Nice hit, nice hit. Reload. Need to give a bit of lead with this one. It's not an instant. There. Nice. Final blow again. See this one? This one's pretty good for picking up kills with that big cannon it's got. You just got to stay alive. Our fleet is securing control point alpha. The enemy has captured control point beta. Got trouble coming over here. Back off, back off. The other guy's going first. Don't want to get close enough to have to use my missiles. That means I'm in trouble. Nice. That looks big. What's that? What's that? It's just launched. Is that coming my way? That definitely is. That definitely is. All power to the shields. Oh, is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? Get out there. Get some healing. Get some healing. We've got missiles coming in here. Get behind that. Back off. See, this is using terrain for cover. This is how it's supposed to work. Missiles coming in. I see them. They're still coming in. Get ready with the anti-ship lasers, anti-missile lasers. Are they going to be able to follow me behind this? They might not, you know. My laser's short range. And... Enemy and yes! I didn't need them. I used the cover. That's why you need the cover, folks. Right. Pop up. Blat! Siege mode. Siege mode. Ah, he's gone in the cover. Damn him. Damn him to hell. Nope. No, no, that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> Whoops. Hopefully. I don't know if friendly fire is a thing in this. We will... Uh, ahem, moving swiftly on. We'll edit that bit out. Damage dealer. Is that, is that a ship just there? It is indeed. Can I get the kill? Can I get the kill? Can I get the kill? Come on. Ah, no. Got incoming, coming in, coming in. Shield, shield. Let him go for someone else. Let some armor get between me and the enemy. That's the way. That's the way. I don't want to take the hits on this. Get this. Get the ship turned around. The guy's got away. There's definitely some firepower going off over here. Get in, get in. Go on, one more, one more. Oh, got the assist. Where is it? Where is it? I see him. 8.2k. Wait, just there, just there. No. Got a shot into his ass. We've been hit hard. Damage control. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Glass cannon. Got me. The same guy. Or the same ship, anyway. Got him. Looks like they got him. Nice. Okay, I thought we would lost that halfway through. Okay, let's take a look at the results. As we can see, this is my ships in the fleet. This is a really nice feature. See, this is the ship I played the whole game with. That got the majority of the XP. But all the other ships, whether you play them or not, they also get some XP. Which means you can grind out modules, you can level up ships. Even if you don't play them, just have them in the fleet. Bring them along. It's a really nice way of getting the stock ships upgraded a little bit before you play them. I think that's a really good feature, and I wish other games that had this sort of mechanism and system would work kind of like that. It would just make playing them more fun. So upgrading ships is pretty straightforward. You just earn the XP in battles, and I really like the way that XP is also awarded to all the ships that you have assigned to the fleet. Once you've got enough XP for a module, you just research it, and then you can buy it. And then don't forget to mount it as well, because <laughs> that's something that I did at first. The great thing is that you can switch in and out of modules. Remember, they're not always upgrades. There may be sometimes just different options, depending on what role you want to play with that ship when you go into a game. It's important to customize your loadout so that basically the modules complement each other. You can min-max and go for maximum damage, maximum effectiveness. You can go for a more balanced spread. You can go for a support role. You can tailor it just so that it supports your preferred playstyle. And the ships can be customizable if you want to spend some money as well. You can change their appearance, you can make them nice and bright and colorful. It's entirely up to you. Oh, and you can also customize your captain. You can buy new outlaw outfits. You are supposed to be an outlaw captain in this game, after all. Make them look as funky as you like. And you also get to level your captain up through the career progression, which is basically just achieved by playing games and achieving certain milestones, which you get rewards for. Uh, it's all good, and there you go. Speaking of rewards, there's also something in the game called contracts, which are kind of like daily missions. Uh, if you don't like the missions you've got, you can just re-roll 
one of them get rid of it gives you something else and you know what they're pretty simple things that you will maybe just have to kill a few types of a certain ship or maybe get a certain amount of damage but they give free rewards just to encourage you to play so why not so this time we're playing onslaught which is basically just destroy as much of the enemy team as possible you get points for shooting down enemy ships first team to 300 points wins and I think we're going to take out the Dreadnought. Let's take something with a bit of armor, different guns, different speed. See what you think of this one. Okay, enemy sighted. Let's get in low. We can use these canyons for cover again. Despite this being a big, slow, lumbering hulk of a ship, it does actually have some pretty decent range on the guns and missiles as a devastating, really close range plasma broadside. That requires you to get pretty close. What the hell? There is a long distance. Oh, missiles are go. Launch. There we go. Send them on the way, boys. Good hunting. Enemy sighted. 5.7k. That's well within range. Damn, didn't land a shot. Not a single one. Oh, we've got more enemies sighted over there. We've got trouble. We've got trouble. I need, I need to dive, 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 dive. And... Enemy, enemy missiles coming in. Ready, ready with the anti-missile lasers. Let them get close, let them get close. Dive. Now! Shoot them out, shoot them out. Shield. Are we going down here? We've got to get into some cover. We've got to get those repairs on. Take some cover. Let's see, let's see recover. Something is shooting me. More important to play it safe. Don't get destroyed in this mode. Every time you get destroyed, you give the enemy team points. What is that? That needs a shooting. Hang on, we've got some trouble. We've got some trouble coming right in. Spin this thing around. We've got to get... Can I get close in on that thing? Can I get close in? I'm going to go. I'm going to go down, I think. Time to warp out. Just, just, just go, 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 stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Where does that take me? Where does that take me? Am I safe? Ah, uh, no, I am definitely not safe. Shield, shield. Stay along, just get those missiles away. Ah, did we get the missiles off? We didn't, we didn't. Get some firepower in there, one of our guys getting shot badly. But enemy, still, still, it is. I need to get some height. I'm just hitting the top of that canyon with my lower gun. Come on. These need to count. I'm scoring again. Thanks, got him. Just He's gone down. What else we got in there? Something, something there that I can't see. Is that... It says I can hit him. Oh, I see him. I see him. I've got good shots now. Full power to the shields. Whoa, I thought that was me going down. This is me going down. I'm in trouble. Get the hell out of here. Plasma guns. Fire. Full power. Come on, we got him. We got him. Nice. Really nice. <laughs> Just as I go down. Switch guns. We've got some enemy fighters. Just sitting right below me. Why can I not see them? There. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Different guns, secondary guns. Can we get the rest of them fighters? We got something. Fighter kills. These enemy loads of enemy fighters. We are getting killed out here. This is not good. Going down, 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 down. Shield, shield. Enemy command ship destroyed. Get into that cover. Just get into that cover. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Quick, get that shield on. We want a full plasma broadside here. A real full plasma broadside. Are we close enough? I don't think we're close enough. Not close enough. It's not It's not charged anyway. Oh, God. Well, at least I look pretty blowing up. Hell of I think I just walked into somebody. 
Enemy, oh, enemy missiles coming in, ready. Let them get close, let them get close. And now. Come on, they're coming in. Oh, come on, shoot them babies down, shoot them down. Don't let them through, don't let them through. Good job, good job, defences. Hold the line, folks. Healing, thank you so much. It's so nice to have a healer on the team. We're good. We are good. Reload the main guns. So I have actually myself really enjoyed trying out Dreadnought. And as it's completely free to play, there's no reason for you not to give it a go if you like the look of it. And if you've already played it, then why not leave your top tip or bit of advice that you'd give to someone new getting into the game down in the comments below. Give them a helping hand to start out. All right, folks, I'm looking forward to reading those tips. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks again to Greybox for sponsoring it. And of course, I'll catch you again on the next one.